Well, welcome back to Mr. Obsolete's Vintage Homesteading. Today's exciting video is going to be about chainsaw chain, safety chain, or low kickback chain in particular, and we'll also talk about bars. Because we've had a number of requests about showing it, how it works, and whatnot, and I had a lot of questions over time too. People asking, you know, what is it, how does it work, and stuff. So this will just be kind of a little brief, but anyway. I'll come over here and we'll show you what they are. Okay, well the first two chains here are the least aggressive cutters of all of them. And the reason for that is these plates here. These are a guide plate that keep the cutting teeth from cutting when the, it's going around the end of the chain. I'll show you in a bit on the bar, but this is unusual is that it has you know two safety links in between the cutting teeth. I wasn't even aware that it made that, but anyway, it's really strange. And then here's a, another one, the same thing, just a little bit bigger gauge. And so we'll progress to these. This one is a little more aggressive on the cut, but this has a really unusual feature here on the link here that keeps it from cutting. It has a tooth on it. And as it goes around the end of the bar, it sticks out and keeps the cutter from coming in and cutting. It's a really bizarre. But that type is pretty much obsolete, I think. I've only seen it on a few chains. And this one, a more aggressive cutter, but the uh, link in between here, right here, you can see that teeth right here. When it goes around, this keeps this from engaging in the wood. And you'll see on this chain too that it has a cutting bar, a link, and then another cutting bar right behind it here. And this one here, this is the best cutting of the bunch. It has just a very minimal bar right here. You can see those two little teeth there. Get on the other side here so I can see it. Yeah, right here. So, anyway, different degrees of these, and almost any small chainsaw today, a homeowner saw, is going to have some type of a safety chain on it. And what it's supposed to do is if you're cutting and you hit something in the wood or something and the chain stops and it tries to kick back on you. That's more prevalent on a chain that's a standard type chain. And the idea on these, that most of the time they kick back is because the tip catches into the wood or one of the worst ones is if you're cutting a piece of wood right behind us another piece of wood and you're not paying attention, you're cutting through it, it hits in the piece of wood in behind it and stops and then it wants to kick up on you. So that's very dangerous. And the bigger the saw, the bigger chance of getting injured because of that. So anyway, I'll get a bar set up here and we'll show you how these things work. Okay, well, this is a standard type bar here. And we'll show the difference between that and a little kickback bar here in a minute. But anyway, like I say, this, is, this chain is the one that cuts the worst of all of them because of the links here. You can see the cutting tooth here and here. As it comes around, they're virtually blocked from any cutting because in the wood here, these two bars here will you know, almost the same height as the tooth here. And being a skip tooth, like I say, it, it's not gonna do a whole lot of cutting. So anyway, that's how they work. And uh, like I say, you know, it's for a beginner or somebody like that, it's, ideal you really need to get some experience before you start using the standard chain so anyway we'll try the different one here okay well here's the next chain this is there again a lousy cutter because of the rakers on this thing you can see that tooth sticks way up here and but it does have a tooth and then a safety link and a cutting tooth and another safety link I have this edge on it that's got little bevels cut into it. I'm not sure what the idea was behind that. Maybe just to keep the 
chain clean. But anyway, you can see that almost any position, the tooth is only right about here that it can actually cut. So just very little cutting. You know, it's designed to cut without having a tip in the wood. Now this chain cuts pretty good. If you look real close here, let me There's a little teeny barb sticking out right there. And it's a little bit higher than the raker or the depth guide on the chain. You can see it there, there's a little clearance in there. So that keeps the tooth from cutting into wood, but not nearly as much as the other chains that I've showed. And then, like I say, this is not a skip tooth chain either. So anyway, this one performs pretty good for a safety chain. Got one more here for you. There again. Right in behind the tooth here. There's a small tooth, and as it gets around here, sticks out more and more to keep the cutter from actually hitting the wood but the only thing that's weird about this one it's stacked in between another plate and so it's actually fairly wide and it takes more horsepower to run these to cut with just because the raker here has a double width instead of single like on a regular chain so anyway that's kind of a good go over of the chains so now we'll talk about safety bars we'll be right back okay well here's some diagrams of you know, typical low kickback blades. This one here is on this little saw here, a little skill saw pulling 25. And this is the one I'm going to be running on the Maxilla for break in. And then this is your standard bar here that's typically used on everything. So, the, how this works, you, you have a slow taper coming down here and a sharp taper and change here. So what that does to make it low kickback is that the uh, cutting tooth here as it goes around the transition where the raker the safety raker is still sticking way up keeps it from cutting until it gets back to where the bar is pretty much the same side to side. So this whole area, the tip and this whole area clear back to about here, doesn't cut hardly at all when you're in the wood. And then as it goes here, it goes back to your standard cutting. But there again, you've got these big safety breakers on here. It doesn't cut very good. So anyway, I'll demonstrate it here in just a second. Be right back. Okay, this would be a typical combination on a safety chain and bar low kickback. So this bar is an Oregon bar. It's what they call a banana bar because of the shape of it. It's like a banana. And you know it's normal up on the top here and it's got a slow taper back down to the standard width on it here. Just like that. So as the chain comes around the safety rakers here, guides come around here. And then they slowly go back to the normal cutting position here. So and from here back on the bar is the only place that's going to cut reasonably efficient. So get this behind here so you can see it. Okay, so this tooth is coming around to cut. And these things are sticking into the wood and keeping it from touching. And so you can see the height here is still almost the same height as the tooth there. And then it comes right here and you get two more safety rakers. And then your next cutting tooth. So as it goes down the bar here, you know, they stick out enough on the safety rakers here to keep it from cutting very good until it gets down on the mid part of the saw here where the distance from here to here is the same. And from here down it'll have your typical standard cutting ability. So anyway, 
that's uh, how these things work and be right back okay so if you're new to chainsaws you're going to end up with a safety chain on it as long as it's a small saw and uh, you know you need to gain experience before you move up and use faster cutting better chains but you can see Mr. Obsolete's a big fan of safety chains these are ones I took off a bunch of my saws and so they uh, they look real nice hanging up on a nail on the wall in the shop you know, you can go over and look at them and say bad things about them and whatnot but there again really if you're new that's what you need gain experience and you'll move away from them but like I say there's a lot of variances in the cutting ability of them there's some of them that are actually pretty darn good but um, I just don't like using them I like to get the best performance I can out of my saws but this little saw here though it, uh, it's got the safety chain on it and the banana bar and I used it this way for a long time and just because I didn't have any replacement chains for it at the time but finally it just wore it out it's been a pretty good little saw for a pull and it's almost a miracle but anyway one other thing I want to talk about be right back okay well you know the thing that's been nice now is we have the internet and there's lots of how-to videos on how to use a chainsaw and maintain them and whatnot but before they had the internet we had this a little manual that McCullough put out and it's called 101 reasons to own a chainsaw so it talks about you know servicing them a little bit but it's mostly about cutting how to safely cut and there's all kinds of little projects you can do but you know it has all the, it talks about all the ways to use it safely let's get a power power max 6 in here it's got a 1-10 series here so this is out of the late 60s but anyway talks about the do's and don'ts and projects and you know, here again that shows you how to safely use stuff or make stuff and make a wheelbarrow but anyway you know the owner's manual that come with new saws has information on how to use them properly and you know the safety features of the saw and things like that so always make sure that you read them thoroughly and like I say today we have all these great videos on everything you can imagine so some of the best ones on chainsaw use are actually put out by the U.S. Forestry Service and the Forestry S Service in B.C. Canada. They start out with just basic cutting and they go clear back through on how to professionally cut you know, dangerous trees and all kinds of stuff. So I'd recommend those videos for sure. So anyway, there you have it. Mr. Obsolete's favorite safety chains. Good for you, bad for me. We'll see you in the next exciting finished video.